We've all been lied to. You know your ways and what you think is right, what you feel in your heart is so good. God says, that is a joke. Everyone's got an agenda. Everyone's got this human perspective on things. But the Bible says that's going to get you into trouble. And God specifically says, the way you think, that's not the same way I think. Last session, we talked about how the Holy Spirit of God actually enters into you. But part of the purpose of that, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 12, is that he has these gifts that he's going to give you. And it says, to each one is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. What that means is that the Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God, who is in you who believe, he, he, he works in a specific way so that you will build other people up. But God isn't giving like everyone every single gift they need. He gives it, he distributes it as he pleases. And we were supposed to build one another up with our gifts. It says in Ephesians chapter 4, in verse 11, he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, the teachers to equip the saints for the works of ministry, for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning and craftiness and deceitful schemes. He says, there's something about you gathering together because God is giving all of these different gifts to different people, including you, and you are supposed to build one another up because he says specifically, there are so many lies out there. Remember, we talked about this, how there's an enemy out there and his plan was not for him to put his spirit in you and for you just to live in isolation, but to now to use that power in the church to bless other people and allow other people with different gifts to minister to you. And he says, that's the way you are going to grow to maturity. That's the way the church is going to grow into unity. God's intention was not just so you would have a personal relationship with him. Of course he wanted that. Yes, you have peace with God now. But what he wanted was for a group of people, the church. That's why we can't live in isolation. He says, my plan is me putting the spirit in all these people. You're going to build each other up. That's why it's so important that you don't do this alone. We were supposed to do it together. Even right now, you going through this series, listening to me, hopefully God has given me some gift to pass on to you. This is a picture of what we do as the church. God's given you a gift. Don't waste it. Don't listen to what anyone else tells you, that you're not intelligent enough. You know, you're, you're not a good enough leader. You're not this, you're not that. What God says is, I love you. I put my spirit in you and you have incredible power. And now you need to use it to bless the rest of the church.